Hello everybody and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be looking at a band called Rearmed. Um, not familiar with them. They have been around for a while, but I'm not familiar with them, not heard of them before. Um, having not been familiar with them, I decided to look them up. And Rearmed are a Finnish melodic metal band from Kerava in Usima. I probably pronounced that horribly, I do apologise. Uh, in Finland, uh, strangely, with them being a Finnish band, you know, who'd have expected that? Anyway, uh, they formed in 2001, and they have released, they released six demos uh, between the years 2002 and 2008, before f releasing their first album, Worldwide Hypnotize, in 2012. So, you know, they were together for a good 11 years before they released the first album. Uh, then in 2014, they released a second album, Rotten Dam, and the EP A Total Lack of Communication the following year, in 2015. Uh, then in 2016, they released a third full-length album, The Era of Precarity, and then they released the single Built to Last in 2018. And to, uh, Built to Last is the track that we're going to be looking at today. Um, there really wasn't that much information I could actually find about the band, you know, I know they've been through a couple of um, line-up changes and uh, when they first started out it was just five guys who wanted to play, you know, awesome music in the style of, um, I believe they called it Gothenburg metal at the time, before it became melodic death metal. Um, but uh, that's about all there is that I could find about them. Now, as I said, we're going to be looking at a track called Built to Last, uh, which was released in the late part of last year. I think it was around September 2018, I think it was. Um, and, well, it's melodic death metal, and we all know that, you know, I like my death metal. I am part of a death metal band, so this should be quite interesting. I have the lyrics up here, which took a little bit to find, but not too much trouble. So, um... Yes, I think we'll jump straight to it and have a look, see what we've got. So I'm very interested to see Rearmed <coughs> with Built to Last. Let's have a shifty. Pause that for a sec. Sounded like they were just about to get into a cool bass solo there. But... Now, quite enjoying this so far. His vocal tone is a bit higher than I expected. I was expecting a more sort of deep guttural sort of growl, but, you know, this is why we do these things, so we can find out stuff. Uh, <laughs> now, this seems to be another track which is talking about like the state of the world at the moment, you know, the way things are going. I mean, it says built to last, and I'm not sure uh, how that applies just yet. We'll have a look. But, um, I mean, the song went straight into it, you know. It, you know, musically, it just started off with a little sort of um, roll on the drums, and then boom, straight into the music. And when he started singing, it said, Disarming the powers of corruption, killing the apathy. It's the strength that defines us, destroys the enemy. 
breaking these chains of oppression free from boundaries before chaos takes control break the cycle break the cycle rise to fall fall to rise open the floodgates and reshape the future we must rise up from the shadows of fears As uh, arise ascend from the sh ashes of failure god i can't speak today and then it goes into the chorus we are the millennials the burning truth voice for the voiceless voiceless a torch to carry on built to last forever built to last forever now he says we are the millennials he's not talking about these hipster millennials that go around vaping everything he's talking about you know people of the millennium not literally the millennials we get these days um so yeah he's, he's sort of talking about you know we need to do something about the way the state of the world is you know we need to rise up and fight against the way this world is going i mean you look at our governments at the moment you know our current government in Britain is just a whole bunch of corrupt people who are more interested in making themselves and their friends richer and want the poor to, to be the ones to pay for it, you know. And well, I'm not even going to get into what the hell's going on in America at the moment, but, you know, he's talking about, you know, we need to ride up, we need to fix this, we need to stop this sort of corruption from happening. And, um, you know, when we are... Well, there's a, there's a thing there. We are the millennials, the burning truth. A voice for the voice, a torch to carry on, built to last forever. So, we are the people that are going to forge the future. We are built to last forever. We are going to fight our way through. We are not going to die until we succeed in our goal. That's what it seems to be suggesting. So, yeah. So far, interesting, good song. And, uh, yeah, good meaning. Let's carry on.
Well, there we go. Built to last by Rearmed. And that, that was actually a very, very interesting song. The second half there had some very interesting decisions made in the musical style. There seemed to be a sort of weird mix of stuff thrown in there, but it still sounded really, really good. And um, I was a bit wrong about coming back into a bass solo, but there was a little bit of bass later on, and it sounded great. I've said on many occasions, I think, the bass guitar is one of the most understated um, instruments in the band, because, like, you very rarely get to hear it, you know. Sometimes music, the guitars and drums are so overpowering you can't hear the bass guitar at all. And but there are other bands that really bring the bass forward, and you can really hear it. And if it's if it's done well, it sounds great. Um, I, you know, it's one of those instruments. I don't think it gets enough um, love. Um, <clears throat> anyway, when we came back into the song. It went, uh, nothing is what it seems. We are left with one belief. Hope is all we have left. Seeing crystal clear now. Visions of brighter future. Dark past lies cold. Tear down their idols that have summoned our names. Fighting for a new generation, we shall remain. Reach out, expand, wake up, aware. Scorching light renews what is dead. Evolve, become, rebirth, remain. Remove shackles that limit our kind. Ash to ash, dust to filth. This is not the last day on earth. Last day on earth. And then it goes back into that um, chorus. But we are the millennials of the burning truth. Voice for the voiceless, a torch to carry on. Built to last forever. Built to last forever. So as I was saying before, it seems to be talking, you know, it's talking about taking charge, rebuilding the world, getting rid of the corruption and you know just the horrible way that the world is heading at the moment you know we've got multi-billionaires sitting in their ivory towers looking down on people who are you know essentially starving and dying in the streets you know child poverty has uh, child poverty and homelessness has risen ridiculously over the last couple of, couple of years you know and there's all these people with billions and billions of pounds, billions and billions of dollars are just sitting up there, you know, getting fat off the land, you know. And they don't care. I mean, you hear these people turn around and go, well, if you're poor, why don't you get a job? If you're homeless, why don't you get a job? Do you know what? Do you know how hard it is to actually get a job when you're homeless? It is insanely hard. Uh, I mean... I was homeless for a year, and throughout that time, I tried to get a job so I could get some money together so I could find a place to live. But the problem is, when you apply for a job, they want an address. And when you're homeless, you don't have one. And a lot of jobs won't hire you because you don't have a permanent address. So, you know, you say to a homeless person, get a job, it ain't that easy. You know. Anyway, I'm going off going off target here, but um, I do like the what the message that this song is uh, putting across, and I like the way it's written. It's very cleverly written, and the the video was interesting. I mean, at the beginning, it was all black and white, which actually kind of reminded me a bit of um, the No One There video by Sentenced, um, although that was interspersed with um, other uh, video cuts. But you know, it had the same sort of feel to it. You know, the black silhouette on the white background. Um, and then it sort of went to red halfway through. And towards the end of the video, they started sprouting like twigs and stuff. And I'm not sure whether that's supposed to sort of translate to they are rooted in reality, like their roots are growing, you know, attaching them to reality rather than the world, the way the world is at the moment. I don't know. You know, it, I'm not sure. But it was very interesting visually. Um, but yes, it was a good song. In interesting uh, choices. I mean, I said before that his vocal style was quite higher than I thought. And when we came back in, he did some even higher um, style vocals. But although um, not for a huge chunk of the song, we, you know, there was still just that bit of variation in the vocals. And everybody knows I like it when bands do that, when they put variation into the vocals. But yes, that was very, very interesting. I'm going to have to look back at their um, back catalogue and and check out some more of their stuff because that was that was quite interesting. I quite like that. 
But I can't think of much else to say about it at the moment, so I'm going to leave that as it is. If anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so. By all means, you can drop a comment in the comment section below, or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or you can even message me through my Patreon, where you could also help to support this channel, which would be a great help to me, um, help me create future content. Um, I do know, however, if you do make a suggestion, it might take me a while to get around to it, um, since I do get suggested so many tracks every single day um, that my list grows faster than I can record the videos. Um, but I do write down every suggestion I get, so it will get done eventually. It's just going to take me a while to get around to it. Also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, British-based charity, whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, mostly those that are aimed towards people of the alternative culture, people who listen to alternative music or wear alternative fashion. Uh, obviously, they want to put an end to all hate crimes, but their main focus is the um, atrocities that are happening to people of the alternative culture, because that's what how their charity came into being. And it's something I really... I really strongly believe in something I I really think is important and something that definitely needs to be spoken about more. Because every single day all over the world, you know, people are getting violently, violently attacked just because of their taste in music, just because of their taste in clothes, you know. And, and it's ridiculous, you know. It, it, it makes no sense to me, you know. I can't understand why someone would think having a different taste in music is an acceptable excuse to violently attack someone. It, it's just mind-boggling, you know. That person likes a different kind of music, therefore I must attack them. Where is the logic there, you know? I mean, y y you don't violently attack someone because they like a different TV show to you, you know. Just because you like friends and they like How I Met Your Mother, you're not going to beat them up for that, are you? So why would you beat someone up for liking heavy metal when you don't? It doesn't make sense. But it happens all the time. You know, people are getting severely hurt. People are getting violently attacked. People are getting hospitalised. You know, they're getting bones broken. Just because they like different music, it's... It just blows my mind that people can be that petty and ignorant, you know. You don't attack someone because they like Neil Diamond or ELO, do you? So why would you attack someone because they like Bring Me the Horizon? I mean, okay, I'm not a big fan of Bring Me the Horizon, but you know what I mean. You know, you don't... It's, it, it just blows my mind that people can be that petty. And the thing is, it doesn't get spoken about. And this is why it keeps happening. You know, any time that this does get spoken about, it's always because something tragic has happened. Like there was that punk in America who was purposefully run down. You know, somebody purposefully hit him with their car and they killed him. And the guy who hit him got away with it because he was one of these um, vasty football jock types and the judge didn't want to ruin his future career by sending him to prison. And after all, it was only a punk that he ran over. You know, because, according to them, the punk was a lower life form just because he liked alternative music. And then the incident with Sophie Lancaster, um, you know, she was set upon by a group of five or six people. Her and her boyfriend were set upon by a group of five or six people and beaten relentlessly, kicked, stamped on. You know, they were brutally attacked. And both of them ended up in comas. And Sophie Lancaster died as a result of this attack. Now, the media again reported on that because it was such a tragedy. It should never have happened in the first place. But I can guarantee you, right, it's been... Let's see, Sophie Lancaster was 20 when she was violently attacked and she passed away. She's going to be 33 later this month. She would have been 33 later this month. So this was about 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago. And I can guarantee you, in that time, many, many, many other people from the alternative community have been violently attacked in, the, in similar sorts of ways. But because none of them ended in tragedy, nothing got said about it. Nothing got done about it. You know, thousands of people from the alternative community will have been attacked in those 12 years. I guarantee you. 
but you never hear anything about it yet every single day you hear about the smallest little bit from any other sort of crime you know like racism homophobia transphobia etc you know you hear the smallest sort of story from there you know n n people might not get hurt you know they might get insulted you know they might not get hurt but it still gets spoken about all the time yet these people that are getting brutally and violently attacked nothing gets said and that needs to change because the less that you say about it the more these people think they can get away with it you know if you don't report something then that person thinks they can carry on doing it because you're not going to say a word and this needs to change this this whole attitude needs to be readjusted and that's what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about they want more people to be aware of this they want more people to know that this is happening you know they want it to be spoken about more because they don't want to see another family go through what they went through when they had to bury their own daughter no one should have to bury their own child you know it's it's not acceptable that this happened it should never have happened in the first place and it most certainly should not ever happen again it cannot be allowed to happen again uh, so if you want to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on at the moment, uh, find out what their uh, goal is, because they can explain it a lot better than I can. And if you can help them in any way, I mean, don't feel you don't don't, don't feel obliged to, you know. But if you can help them in any small way, you know, even if it's a small donation on their website, or even getting something like one of these Sophie wristbands from their web store, you know, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we bring more attention to it, the sooner we can put a stop to this, and the sooner we can stamp out prejudice, hatred, and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.